lit. lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big, big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even on my dad walk on. Say, man, these guys right here, man, pulled up on us, man. The radio station in the building, man. Check it, man. These yeah, boys yeah. serious, man. They here, man. In the building. These skilled Don Perrion's in the building, man. What's going on? What's popping? Hey, Woo! blessings, man. Appreciate it. I love the intro, bro. Oh, I was like, okay. I'm still in the intro. Man, <laughs> y'all do this every day, nigga. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. But last time, when I, I think the first time Jay Cruz came, I had just opened this thing up. Yeah. I started sparring with that nigga right here. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Uh, what you got, Jay-Z tatted on your arm, nigga? Oh, man. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, don't don't do that, man. That's don't do that. <laughs> no, I just I, I was just you know just playing, and, and I did the same thing with Vita Loca. Like it's just like okay, you know I love to talk, so it don't really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I can go. Like I don't care who it is. So at the end of the day, man, it was dope to even get them in our presence too. And we've been working our way through the radio. Wait, hot, shout out to my boy, man, Space Boy Fresh. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like like you guys, man. You know, um, you guys are, are still doing the radio thing. How did you get? Into it actually, I live one. I, either one of y'all can go down there. Okay. Which that one, it don't matter. Um, so so really, um, man, the radio station found me in the strip club. Like I was one of the first the strip club DJs uh, back in 2017. Um, they found me there and they broadcasted every weekend and I had got the opportunity to DJ um, in the strip club on the weekends. I, would, I was at a little hole in the wall club, Dallas Cabaret North, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, y'all may know something about that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, y'all niggas were wicked out there. Yeah, man, it, it was crazy. So I was there, um, I graduated college in 2014 and um, yeah, man, my first club was at D, uh, Cabaret North. Shout out to my guy DJ Chubb, uh, both of the Chubbs because uh, they the ones who linked me in and, and they got me in and done some OGs in the game and they gave me the game and I started working my way up and finally uh, got a chance to work on the weekends and the radio station broadcasted every weekend on Saturdays. And so mm-hmm. once they saw me, they was like, who's this new little guy in the in the club, man? We got to get him on at the station. So yeah. that, that's how I got on the they radio. They say he had real turntables too. Yeah, I had <laughs> big toe turntables in the club. They're like, who is this? Hey, what about you, Peace? Hey, man, I'm, uh, I'm originally from St. Louis. So uh, St. Louis, I went to college in Grambling in 08 and I was uh, pretty much the tiger, the mascot, you feel me? So coming. And I was just networking, staying for a class a weekend, senior year. So that's how I really kind of got in. I just put my put my foot in the door, like, hey, I'm gonna be graduating soon. I'm trying to come get a job. I was talking to 104 at the time, and then I talked to 979 at the same time. So then, boom, I had some uh, some recommendations. They got me in. I told them I hit them with an email, like, I'm on my way to Dallas. What I gotta do? She said, let me know when you get here. Boom, I came out here uh, January 14th. Uh, what was it, uh, 2014? So I've been out here eight years. So from four years there, four years at the uh, beat. You know what I'm saying? So this guy speed, man, came in on the street team, worked my way up, you know what I'm saying? Like going to spots with Jay, Cat Daddy, you know what I'm saying? They not show up. I, I've been hosting the hype in my whole life type thing, you feel me? So then boom, I just kept networking. And then next thing you know, I got on air. The same time Mike Brown got killed from St. Louis, like Ferguson, you feel me? So like Northside, North County, like, like grinding, you feel mm. me? Boom, shoot, kept grinding. Then next thing you know, I got on air, signed my paperwork. Then then I did a song, slide in challenge. And then next thing you know, the beat hit me with a phone call. Like after the, after Lancaster Band played it, I went out there to perform, did what I did. I got a phone call saying, can I sit down and talk? And that was four years ago. You know what I'm saying? I've been sitting down talking ever since. Wow. Can't Man. believe you said you were the mascot? Yeah, Grambling. Man, wasn't that hot? <laughs> hey, you get paid for it though, so it, <laughs> I had to work with it. I always want. I'm like, I know them suits be hot. <laughs> yeah, I be. I you. I, I ain't. You know, that's one of my little jokes. I use. You know, certain niggas be around me just a mascot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't get to really just run down the field. Yeah, seriously. That's real. But yeah. I need them because without them, I can't have a good time. There you go. Thanks. Y'all ain't ready, man. Come y'all, on, man. You, <laughs> come on, you got it. Hey, you, you, man, y'all got it, got it. Let's stop playing with them. <laughs> so, man, like, like. How how is the radio world today versus you know used to uh, in order you know for uh, an artist to be seen or whatever they they wanted to be heard on the radio but I know it's not as extensive as it used to be but how right. much impact do you feel like the radio gives today's you know uh, and I know you guys are going to be a little biased but still give me your spiel on it uh, just just let me know well um, well I feel like you know what I'm saying like and this is just real talk you know what I'm saying is is the radio is Pretty much, it stamps you as a superstar. Back in the day, like you didn't have social media, you know what I'm saying? To to know you was a superstar, you heard your song on the radio. Now you got TikToks, you got different ways you can go viral and be seen. But all the radio do is really stamps that you are a superstar, that you have proven that your song and your single has 
gotten these amount of views and it's changing lives and it's doing X, Y, and Z. And you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like it, people will say we don't need radio now because we got different outlets to be heard. Yeah. It's not just with the radio, you know what I'm saying? But that's still like the mecca. That's still where labels and that's that still the dream. The American dream is to have my song played and heard on the radio throughout the, the world. And the catch is we in Dallas, you feel me? We, we in the top four of the nation, like the top four Metroplex of a million people, you feel me? So the radio well, What's the other three? Uh, you got you got New York. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You want to take, take it over to the uh, West Coast, Cali, California, Philadelphia, you know Chicago. And yeah, even five. though Houston, yeah, Houston, I just Houston want to ask you because well, yeah, what about Houston? Houston, we big? bigger than Houston because we got people on top of us, left, right, and then of course Houston. So under you us. feel like y'all bigger than Houston? No, 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 no. On, on the side, <laughs> on, on, on the side, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, this ain't yeah, this ain't one of Erica Banks' situations. <laughs> 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 We're going to Texas next weekend for the Texas Green Picnic. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put on. Are you, are you, are you shout to the brothers? Man. So you you basically, you know, you hear a song. You mm -hmm. like the song. Old Boy Prince shouted y'all out because he said you guys really ride for them, play their music. How do you play their music if they, you know, if it's not a part of the spins? How do you aggressively get, or can you, do you have that ability to play a new artist's music if you like it? The internet is the truth. If, if Lil Wayne daughter say you the truth, and I love y'all videos, and she reposts you, that's content, and that's like putting on for Texas, and that's what 97.9 about, you know what I'm saying, as far as putting in for the community, and then we like the faces of the community, so that's the community dancing to. If the whole community doing this dance right here, I don't be hit it, you gotta hit it one time. You, feel <laughs> you like, gotta do it, I you did feel it me? in here, you yeah. didn't see what I did in there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I messed that whole up, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. We got you. Like, C4S, but man. but the main thing is, is like I think we're a new generation, we're a new face, and so we came up hearing what the radio stations didn't do and wouldn't do, and man, like I feel like this is my calling. You know, some people got different um, reasons. You know, what I'm saying to be in radio, so um, I feel like this was my calling was to always help and try to use my platform to help people. So when we see people like C4S that's putting in the work, that's doing the numbers, that helps us be able to go and fight for them to our PD. To where I don't know back then they don't know if people was really fighting for people if people mm -hmm. just didn't see the talent but like I know for us you know we see the talent we out here we seeing the work and if we, we if we can do what we can do we're gonna try to help you you know what I'm saying it, it ain't got nothing to do with because no you've met people who've been doing this and doing what you're doing before you right, right? Yeah. so have they ever said like man we couldn't do that when it was our time back in the days you didn't hear them stories uh, not so much. I, I heard they used to make a lot of money back in the day. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. You know. So I mean? you're not that's making like, a lot of money now. Nah, we do all the muscle, all the heart. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like, we, heart, we want like, to see the city win. You feel me? Like I, I knew three before we had the change. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been around here enough to see. Oh, that's all Dallas gotta do. Be the next ATL. That's all we gotta do is just come together, just a little bit. Fat Pimp got the juice right now. You know what I'm saying? He been had the juice. He need more credit. B King, he the man. But Dallas dancers made B King's song go crazy on TikTok, and that's when Drake saw it. Mm -hmm. And that's when Drake put B King on, and life changed. Right. Out of Dallas. So, how do you think Dallas can come together and make Dallas great? Because that's one thing we've been wondering. We've right. been like, who can really, because we always feel like it needs one person or a group of people who can really merge the city right. together. Um, I, I, it, it's the structure. That's that's really all we got the talent. It, it's the structure, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 Atlanta, they have a structure. They know like, everyone knows what to do and how to do it, you know what I'm saying? Um, in Dallas, what I see coming up, you got a lot of people that, you know, that's either to themselves. You got a lot of people that feel like, you know, they may be Hollywood, that they ain't gotta do certain things. Um, you got a lot of people that, oh, I don't rock with this person, so I'm not gonna go rock with right. that person. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of negative in, in but Dallas. I need to go. It, exactly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's all, it's like, we the new school, so we coming into it and we seeing it, and we just trying to do what we can do to show that new face and show that like, we not really with that, you know what I'm saying? And we trying to put this structure, help put this structure together, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, because it used to be like, if they see you messing with somebody, they don't want to mess with you because yeah. they don't mess with that person. But I see, I see changing slowly but surely, where people are like, well, they mess with both of us and they sort of cool, so you know it's okay yeah. as long as you're not putting them in that situation where that person is around when they're around and right. stuff like that. So right, exactly, and exactly. Dave, David Banner just left uh, like last week. You right, know what I'm physically, he was y'all was y'all out there? But no, we didn't had, get the invitation. So y'all got the next one. Y'all got the next one because I ain't know. I went on. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you know, we go where we're wanted and who. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> whoever want us, we want them. If you don't want us, we definitely don't want you. So, so if you call, we coming. If it's love, then because a lot of times we just not linked. We don't yeah, know. That's, exactly. it, that's it. That's right. all it. But you guys definitely are doing what you're supposed to do. You know, I really don't just want to be hanging around no nobody. I want a person to come on this platform, and I know you got to be relationships. But damn, I mean, you you see us out here, nigga. Yes, sir. So, Whoever that nigga might be. So let me, so let me ask you um, the right. big three because I saw you with Ice Cube. Yes, ma'am. So how was that? Like it's, it's it's major, you know what I'm saying? Like again, Dallas is just that city who show love, and it's like three parts of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Not to get off topic, but it's like you got the street Dallas, then you got the internet Dallas, then you got like the deep Elm side. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's it's really more than that. You know what I'm saying? But it just it, it, was, it was it was a big thing because Ice Cube, he obviously got love for the city, and for right. him to be here for this last little seven weeks, you know what I'm saying? It, it's nothing but. Grace, you know what I'm saying? Shaq live here. I know. was about to say that yeah. Shaq live here. Yeah, so you know, a lot of people coming into Dallas. Exactly. Um, a lot of businesses are moving to Dallas. Facts. So it's like Dallas, people are getting on to realize that Dallas is the next city. Because even like we've been interviewing like a lot of entertainers mm-hmm. and they say that um, to get really big, you have to have to come through Dallas. Got to. Facts. That's to get exposure. It. Like I said, it's the number five market. And, right. And it's a, it's a gift and a curse because it's like we're being a number five market it's a lot harder to get on in Dallas because we're competing with the Los Angeles, the Philadelphia's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, the Atlanta's like number seven or eight, oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? They're not even, so they can, they can get away with a plan a lot more local to? artists. Uh, they may be like, they may, they may be like, I don't know, I gotta say, they may be six, six. six. Yeah, like six. They not too far from us, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think DFW, they, they count the whole D- Dallas, Fort Worth, you know, Euless, Waco, Waco, you, like, it, like we almost push out to. to but that a region. lot of local artists always say that um, in order for them to get recognition, pretty sure they get more love outside the city than they get in the city. Why is that? that that's everywhere. It's everywhere. That's, that's everywhere. What I that's think like too. that's that's really everywhere. That's everyone's problem, and it's and it's almost one of those things to where it's like I go outside the city, I get more love. It it it, it, it convinces. Where your home at? That oh, he really hot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I t- I feel like we tend to oh, he from the city. It's one of the things like people ain't gonna believe until you till you make it. But a lot of people keep comparing their city. I'm not gonna say just te- just Dallas though, because I know a lot of other cities who do the same thing. They compare their city to Atlanta mm-hmm. because they feel like Atlanta support their own. Well, right. compared uh, to every other city, no, that that's don't. not what Mister Hit that Mister Hit that said. It's not. It just looks can be deceiving. Uh huh. Right. Like you know, so. it's, it's not exactly what you might think. You know what I mean? Uh, they have their issues as well. Exactly. But at the end of the day, they just keep them within or something like that. He said. Right. But, like like the system again. They have a system and musically, and they they got the labels there. They got this is a music mecca. You know what I'm saying? Dallas is not a music city. This is a a sports city. This is a, a money making city. You know what I'm saying? To where culturally Atlanta is music. You know what I'm saying? So they have a lot more connections and they got a lot more structure to get things in place. Like we don't have a major record label here in Dallas that could help put on. We don't have a lot of music elements here in Dallas. So if, that's why they say if you make it out of Dallas, you can make it anywhere because it's tough coming out this bit. You know what I'm saying? So Well, it's, it's because of, of what you just said. You got to have some labels. You got to have some people that even if it is, I mean, you got you got my boy Radio Raheem. You got yeah, some people here. Yeah, not satisfied. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. That's my brother. You, you know, you got and some, Sean Khan just started you got, his you label. You got Sean Khan. Exactly. You got some people that's really trying to develop some things that really can uh, move some things around in the city. We just mm-hmm. got to, you know, we just got to uh, support, support each other. Support each other. And I think it's going to happen. I mean, you just got a yeah. lot. You got a lot of people. You got big extra plug running around this thing. Making yeah, noise. 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 Crazy. Noise. So he, you know, when you start looking at the people that are tapped in, you know, uh, shout out to Erica Banks, you know, yeah. that whether you want to, uh, whether she loved Dallas or not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she, loved she, 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 loved she loved Dallas. Dallas. She, she took us to lunch on record, man. She t- off the clock, well, on record, you know, and she and took us to, took us to eat, you feel me? Yeah, we had yeah. to. Uh, cool. We had to grab about that. that. What did y'all say to him? <laughs> yeah, we, we said, said like, I said, hey, where's your A&R at? Where's your A&R? <laughs> and what did y'all say? What did she say? She like, no, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what did she say when y'all asked her about it? She said, she said, I'm sorry, she said, let's be Real. She, we don't bother talking about it. We're just real talk. We'll talk. She said, like, she loved Dallas. You know what I'm saying? She's just being real. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you're young and you're coming up in the game and you don't have, when you're a major star at, at her level, it, it came fast. You know what I'm saying? So not realizing, like, hey, you got to know how to play the internet. You got to know how to answer certain questions. Sometimes you can't be too real and just say the first thing to come to your mind. You got to. Yeah. Sit and understand, like you got a whole city behind you. So when you say things like, hey. and she didn't realize her her microphone now, like she is perceived as the queen of, yeah, like the princess of Dallas. You know, on the rap side, you know, saying mm-hmm. to make it that far to, to accomplish what she's accomplished. Exactly. You know saying? With the Holly Berry and all that. So she she ain't realized it. But mm-hmm. when we sat there, you know, what I'm saying took the gloves off, you know, from eating the crab legs. You know, what I'm saying like sis, you feel me? 
She was like, oh, okay. It was like one of them. You right. She got at me one day about something that was said on here. Uh, Yeah. You got to realize I picked her out early, man. Yeah. I always tell that story, but I'm going to pass by that. But she she hit me up because somebody came on here and said something about it. But at the end of the day, (laughs) you know, that's a part of this, man. You know, Mm -hmm. I can't control, you know, once you say something out there, these other people going to chime in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's love. You know, we definitely love machines over here. And one thing we we definitely try to do. If you come on this show and you say something um, about a situation because it's your opinion and it's maybe you were in that situation, you were actually there. So it's your point of view. The other person can come on here and 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 tell their side as well because exactly. and that's what we want. We don't want anything that's one-sided. said on our show to be one sided. Exactly. We always open our doors for the next person to come yeah, back so and you'll say, see you know what? But this is my. Here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you done seen them on here. I know you already yeah, just seen them. Yeah, tone. Yeah, in tone. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, we hope it's all love. But we can't that's control right. what people say behind these mics. Nigga, get his chest stuck out out here. Man, look. yeah, nigga, what boss else? Talk, man. Boss talk, man. Boss talk. Boss talk. Y'all got the cameras. He'll bring it out of us. Bring it out of here. I want to commend y'all, bro. I've been seeing y'all get heavy and heavy on the internet. Everybody I saw tapping Cal- in. Calamar came through. I was like, oh, damn, yeah, bro. That's my boy right there. Yeah, I don't Calum- I got to drop his interview, too. I ain't even dropped his yeah. yeah, It's a lot to it, though. He got a lot of elements, man. That guy, he been through a lot. I yeah. think a lot of times people don't realize people's a story, their backstories, you know, like when you start talking about single parenthood and, yeah. you know, going to prison and all that stuff, it bring a lot out in a conversation. Facts, so man. I think that's something that we do a little bit more detail than like a radio station where we get to really sit here and talk to you about like I could ask you like nigga you know what I'm saying you got any kids yeah yes sir how many you got I got one damn he said, yeah, girl I think I'm done too low, low sperm count <laughs> one and you done nah, I'm you must got low sperm count nah I'll pull out game you see stuff food. like that yeah <laughs> then, this is like, then you start talking about it you know what I'm saying hey, look, how many you got I, I just had my first one this your first oh, one how old are you Huh? How old are you? I'm 31. 31. You yes, almost sir. didn't get it, huh? Man, almost, <laughs> I, I tried to hold out till I was 33, to be yeah, honest. You I was don't like, want to be Jesus saved. He purposely did it. Boy, girl. A uh, girl. I got a little girl. Both of y'all, girl. girl. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. niggas can't push out uh, no yeah. boys, but it's I'm cool. Chilling. I'm it, chilling. I'm chilling. Y'all gonna go it broke. You know, girls be emptying that pocket. Yeah, yeah man. Four. Yeah, you ain't lying. Yeah. No, but um, let me ask you both of you the same question. Um, tell me something that happened to you back in the past somewhere down there that made you into the man that you are today. I like to hear people about their struggles and stuff like that because there are people who are watching the show that are going through something maybe similar or the same exact thing that you already been through and you overcame. And they might not see their outcome yet. You know what I mean? And they might turn to something like suicide or whatever. So anyhow we can help somebody, we try to. So start off with you. Um, I would say uh, when I was about, uh, so, yeah, yeah, I want to say when I was about six, um, my mom got kidnapped by this guy she was dating. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, man, I woke up. Um, I'm like, I'm five, five or six years old. I wake up, I look at my mom's room, I see the, the glass broken and blood all over the ground, and wow. I'm just screaming out for my mom. Like, I, I, the door is wide open, and so I'm just in the house alone. And and man, somehow uh, my mom was gone for like two days and uh somehow she ended up getting away i'm at a grocery store she slid somebody a letter like hey this guy's kidnapped me um whoopty whoopty whoop call the police x y and z so um i i once i i thought i would have lost my mom you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't have grew up without, without uh my mom and that and we were a single parent you know what i'm saying so it was just like that brought it out of me to be like yo i gotta get it i gotta make it i can't even be regular like this this he could have came and killed the family you know what i'm saying it's just me and my mom and and Luckily, she's still here today, but that pushed my drive to be like, man, I got to conquer. I can conquer anything. We can get past anything. We can um, boost my drive to go out and really make some of myself. You know what I'm saying? What was your father? Huh? What was your father? Uh, I I don't know. You Uh, never met him? I I didn't meet my father until I was uh, uh, 19 19? in college. Yeah. Yeah, He just decided to show up. Uh, you you know, know, he must have thought you were going to get a scholarship and go, go pro or something. Where this nigga at? Oh, man. Now, he's a good dude, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, just, where was he at? Yeah. Um, he's in Louisiana. I mean, he said, why are you, where are you being? Uh, I'm sure you, know, you asked him that you know question. He was, he, he was in the Army overseas. You know what I'm saying? He just got back, like, I want to say, like, five years five years ago. He's been back in the uh, States. But from, yeah, that time on, he had a lot of kids, bro. It's like, it's like nine of them. A Rolling Stone. Yeah, he, hmm. so he has a lot of kids, bro. So he went to the Army and was been overseas, like, for the longest. But once... We started tapping in. It was all love, and you know I understood. You no, know, being a young man, you wild, you going, you hitting different type of women. 
Um, and <clears throat> life happens. But literally, did your did your mom know the person who kidnapped her? Uh, yeah, she was she was dating him. It was like she was dating, dating, oh, dating, dating him. him. Yeah, so she told. So him she, she didn't see the signs and all of that stuff. Uh, man, she she did. You know, what I'm saying like. You know, my mom just grew up. Just, I don't know. It was just bad choices in men. You know, what I'm saying, my mom. I, I, I see my mom get beat up a lot. You know, what I'm saying by different um, individuals. So it was just one of those things to where we didn't know it was going to lead to that. How you know did that saying? affect your relationships as you got older? Um, I know I never wanted to see that growing up. So I know the women I chose or who I was with. I just knew like hey, I, I stay away from toxic women. Um, stay, you know what I'm saying, be, you don't need to put yourself in no situation to go that route. And I never want to see that. And I can't respect a dude or anything that, that does that because I grew up seeing that and, you know, just being terrified and not being able to do nothing about mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying, at a young age. So, yeah, that definitely hardened my heart to, man. I'm going to go out, change my life, and get to it. And yeah. you? Man, yeah, my head. That nigga went hard, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. You can't compete, can nah, you, nigga? Yeah, shut it down. You I got the little weak water down, down story, nigga. You ain't got nothing for us, dude. Nah, okay. Yeah, my daddy course, used to, but my daddy, he uh, didn't come back from the store one day. <laughs> yeah, nigga. What Never you got? Never the cold, nah. <laughs> nah, man, my pop's in heaven, man. I just been crying, oh, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I'm here. Mine, he's too. For real, there we go. They know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, my mom, too. All of them up there. Man, those. At the end of the day, you know, um, um, but but that's a situation in itself. How old was you when you lost your father? Uh, I'm 32. That happened like 20, 27, 26. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I became a dad. Lost my dad like in the same eight yeah. months. See, all wow. this stuff matters, yeah. man. Like like, but you at least got to spend that time with yeah. him, right? Yeah. yeah I that's a dope yeah. part. Yeah. I mean, it's just so having that in mind. I know he ain't get that at all. That's you right. Know what I'm at all. Then like, I got a brother locked down right now. You know what I'm saying? Another brother. So your brother on lock? Yeah, on lock. So, he just came home. He can't look crazy. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? He, and this is, I don't even Came home nobody. and flipped came flip home, that guy. Did, yeah, came, no, came home, did what we supposed to do, and we came home like pandemic hit, you know what I'm saying? Like 2020 when everybody had to go in the house, you know what I'm saying? Put they put their gloves on and go in the store with the man. He came home like the, the weekend of the whole country shutting down. So it been gone four years, come home, and it's like, damn, I can't even get outside. <laughs> everybody, when I went in, everybody, you can't wear no mask and no, uh, no gloves. Not everybody wearing them. So man, just, don't feel bad, man. You know, my partner, he didn't even make it from home. He messed up and was right back in there before he could even make it to the house. Them niggas be, them, hey, it's hard out here sometimes. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, especially when you're trying to figure it all out again. How long was he gone the first time? Uh, four, four years. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like the only child who's like raised in the household with the same mom, same dad. But they got divorced like she was fifth grade. So I, but I was the only son. You know, I yeah. all seven kids to really yeah. get the whole fatherhood treatment. You feel yeah. me? So yeah, so now, when it's time to do, you know what I'm saying, I'm a junior, same name and everything, you feel me? So, but he always told me, man, I don't even want to say his own, own world, but, it, but, say but like Both St. Time. Louis and East St. Louis, like we rock with St. Louis and East St. Louis, but bro, we don't really rock with East St. Louis like that. You but know, you know shout out to Chingy. Yeah, yeah, Chingy, yeah, he put a career. We don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, we rock with, I had to. I don't to, know, like, I don't know what happened. Yeah, there. yeah, but <laughs> I rock with Raw Reese, you know what I'm saying, like, like Y'all had Nelly, but yeah, Nelly. Chingy, Chingy was a little different than Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a lot of stuff out there on these media ways, man. man. I don't know, I don't know if it's true. I don't know, you know something? Man. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. <laughs> man. Shout out man. that boy Chingy, man. For real, for real, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. It just, I don't know what it is, though, bro. Say it a little bit. What's the food? Y'all like that barbecue, Chinese, yeah, barbecue up there, too. Chinese, that's the best barbecue in the world. Yeah, but mm. you you know you know that it ain't that damn good. A lot of cows. Oh, man. <laughs> Now you know what I even had St. Louis barbecue. As long as we been rocking, I ain't even. Uh, yeah, I ain't even I went ain't up there. True, it's, it's he expensive. tell me all the time, but I don't know, true. man. I had some good Texas. We barbecue. came through there and we went fast. We didn't want to stop. Man, Top three man. artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Ooh. Top three. Yours first. Number Top one. Three. Ooh, first I'm gonna go. Come on, my nigga. Ludacris. Oh. Number two. Uh. The top back. Yeah. Uh, to all time, dead or alive. Time. Any genre. Any genre. Dang, go to him. Go to him next, man. No, 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 no. no, no, no. All right, let me get Luda. Let me get uh, let me get uh, let me get let me get Pop. Okay. Okay. And uh, third, let me get um, versatile. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, Missy Elliott. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Where you hard. from? St. Louis. Look at him. Now, yeah, it was a bad choice. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that's a versatility. I, I gotta grow up with what I, what I grew up on. Uh, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, and uh, man, my third one would be like I like I like Drake. That, uh, nah, J Cole. Mm. I rocks with J. Cole. So you take Drake over J. Cole over Drake? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Man, the early J. Cole, man, with the punchlines. Yeah, nigga, man, whatever. Come go, on. go. Who your top three? 
I ain't telling you. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, that's my show. I'm not telling y'all nothing. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the damn radio station. Y'all think y'all are 979 to beat, nigga. Y'all not for the run this right here, nigga. Y'all think y'all can get on out. Boss Talk 101 and run my damn speakers, nigga? These my <laughs> damn microphones. Y'all niggas came over here thinking y'all for the run so. <laughs> nigga know y'all got all oh, them man. damn people watching y'all every day. And what time y'all come on? Man, three to seven. Bro. Three, three to, to seven. seven. Y'all in there won't play niggas music. I already oh, know. We man. the ones that do it. No, okay, well, who is the newest? Hottest artist right now, nigga. That big they know. Text, big text. And thing is, big text. Big text. Okay. Big text. But like biggest thing is, and C4S. You feel me? Real mm-hmm. talk. They got the internet. Yeah, nigga, you just said yeah, that they, they got you over here ah. on my damn show. <laughs> nigga. But look, I've been rocking with old boy Prince. Fat Al. I've been around with Fat Al. Yeah, he told me that. Been, he I've told me that. Yeah, so. He said up here and told me that because he had to go to bat for y'all. He was like, E, man, don't be like that, man. I know you be. Let them come on, man. I said, who are these niggas, man? He said, man, he, he's good, man. These niggas is good. I said, man, I don't care, nigga. I don't know them niggas, man. <laughs> That's but, the first but, thing but, he said. He told me, he said, I don't know these niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> but at it's the end blessing. of the day, I just like to get y'all hell. That's what we need, man. We need something real in the city, man. Nah, for real. I appreciate you guys, man. Make sure you guys uh, really look out for those youngsters, man. Y'all God put y'all in position. Don't mm-hmm. be don't be fake and be aggressive. Walk in that office and ask nigga, man, we need to play some of these local people music sometimes. Right. Yeah, right. else I'm going over there and get my own pot and interview people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, take the spot on interviews, man. Get the damn phone out. Quit being scary. Y'all yeah. need to deal with these people in a way that it, it eventually it'll benefit y'all. Oh, nice. for sure. Okay. That's so right. Look at that. Look, that's why we wanted to come up in here just to shed light on you know what I'm saying things that people may not know about the radio and stuff that you know what it really takes. You know what I'm saying so. You know, just information, because I feel like, again, like with Dallas, it's the structure. People don't know what to do or how to do it, you know what I'm saying, or what's important or what gets them in these people's faces that we can vouch for them and go up the bat for them, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and just how this whole thing works. You sound real professional, but let me just be real with you right quick, man. <laughs> a lot of niggas is talking about you radio folk. Hot Boy West, according to what I'm hearing, the radio is yeah. what got him noticed and got him a deal. They say the radio stations were pushing for him down there. Certain people is really talking about that and say that the radio stations are not helping people in Dallas like that. Yeah. I'm just being real. Like, they don't put the some music out there. They don't holler how do these people name out and really go hard for these people y'all can change this city man check this out this don't let these boys don't make it 80 percent of the music i hear people like hey check this out let me hear this play this i'm gonna give you the ear because i report cards what you go off of you know what okay. i'm saying my report card i gave erica banks her first interview you know what i'm saying i i, I vows for for mo three on on, on on a couple songs you know what i'm saying but everything this is what i'm saying the buckle what i'm saying everything don't transfer over to a radio type of song yes it go hard yes you hit Yes, you gave me the dirty version, and I'm a radio person. You still send it to me anyway without the EPK. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you're trying to get out of it, huh? You know, I ain't trying to get out of nah, it, but. Nigga, what about the clean version you get? Nigga, I'm going to yeah, be listening. They, 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 they got to be hard. They got to be trans. They got to transfer over. You know what I'm saying? At first, broken broke love on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, because it, it took a little while for, for three to get back to that hook before Kevin Gates got on. So, it, it, it's, 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 it's a, it's a matician, matissionary. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. Just yeah well, I can just tell you right now, we got to make sure that we. Understand the algorithm of where things are today, yeah, yeah. and we got to try to figure it out in a way to where it makes sense for the masses. Our people need your help, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So we got a lot of work to do. People watching, all right. So sure. say, man, when y'all number four and Houston is number what? Number six. Uh, Ald, did you hear that? Houston number six, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's love, yeah, man. It's yeah, love, Houston though, it's number love. six. <laughs> man, it's love. hold up, man. But now I appreciate you guys, man. Yeah. Big love. Yes, sir. Anything else you got for? I just had one more question. Damn. <laughs> Up to us. Up to us. Yeah. No, I wanted to know, have y'all ever had um, a celebrity come in that y'all were just like speechless? Yeah. yeah. It changed our lives. Changed our lives right now. That's yeah. why we the one nine eleven show. Like my shirt say, like, Who was like, that person? Was Juicy J. Juicy J. You feel me? Like, like, like I talked to Juicy J like 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 a parole officer. Like, he we, don't he like that Raj Coogee. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. hey, we made we made a song. We, we got said, like five you tell the ratchet, because Juicy J, he liked like that. that yeah, shit. find one, get behind one. We yeah. got about five point eight million. He the nigga that biz that owed the mic at. Yeah. yeah, I know about that nigga. Hey, Versus man, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three, six, five, nigga, man. What time for Juicy, man? So he changed our life, huh? For, real. for sure, for sure, man. What he, we, well, how he changed our life? Um, shoot, pretty much, man. We was at a club. Um, uh, you, you probably heard about it, but uh, we we had got this club hot, uh, Club Prime. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? That was up not too long ago. So um, we used to be in a club, and he'll be rocking it, man. So he used. I mean, I don't know if you ever heard him in a club, but his voice, boy, he can get people to move. Like this is like mm-hmm. one of the top MCs I've ever heard, bro. And he uh, he used to say this thing where like, man, 
find one, get behind one. Like you send the girl, the, the fellas to find a chick and get behind one because it was a lot of dudes that be too cool standing against the wall and stuff. So he'd be like, man, find one, get behind one, find one, get the behind one. And I'll see this chant. And I'm as a DJ, like he's around dancing on stage and stuff. But as a DJ, I'm watching the crowd get in tune with what he's saying. So I'm like, bro, we got to turn this into a song. Well, like, we in the club and we on the radio at the same time. Yeah, live broadcast. Yeah, I ain't never did talk on the radio with the live broadcast ever in my life. So I got through some fire. Then he played that that, that black youngster booty. The two two shake their booty. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to entertain these people who are in the room, 300 people, and it's like 3 million people listening on a Saturday night. So I'm like, find one, get behind one. But but P, we need some booties in motion. Uh. Hey, we need some booties in motion. Yeah, mm -hmm. find one, get behind one. So this went on for like nine months. And Digital Norm, I'm saying when him and Lil Ronnie went on tour, they would be using that chant to start off they set. So mm -hmm. shout out, shout out to Lil Ronnie, shout out to Digital Norm. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, man, y'all need to make a beat off that. Y'all need to make that. And we can't play everything on the radios. We get you know what I'm saying? Copyrighted French. Right. So it just so happened we had finally sat still around November. You know what I'm saying? Two years ago, and we made the beat from scratch. Right. From the, you know what I'm saying? And fast forward. It was the beat in my file. I'm like, we call it B-I-M, Booties in Motion. We need some mm. Booties in Motion. The next day, the next day that we made the beat, like we made the beat at my house, like in my room, me and my co-producer, uh, shout out to uh, my guy Lotus, before, yeah. uh, before Quattro. And, but we made that beat in about 20 minutes. Um, and like I said, the next day, the Juicy next J day, came in for, Juicy J came was, in was, for was, a promo. Was, the song Neighbors that just came out, he was doing mm -hmm. a promo with Travis Scott. I'm interviewing, we going, I know I'm wrapping up the interview 19 minutes later, and it's a whole interview on camera, film. I'm like, man, I'm just trying to give him a rap or something for, for, for content, you know what I'm saying? And like, I gotta go on my email, find a beat. I can't go on YouTube, copyright, but I got this beat in my email. I'm like, oh, damn, let me just play this. I played the beat, and come on. He's like, mm. he's like, mm, what's this? I'm like, oh, this? It's called B-I-M, you know what I'm saying? We need some booties in motion. Yeah, we need some booties. Find one, get behind one. Send it to him. He was like, oh, this hard. I'm gonna get on there. We was about this length apart. He said, I'm gonna get on there, this hard. I said, yeah. Ranch over, shook his hand, shake my hand. Like this. It was a, it was a, like, it was a, it was a, it was a N-I-G-G-A type of like, you sure? He, he said, thought, it, thought it was bullshit. Yeah, he said, yo, Tim. And he did it. He did it. But two days up, later. Yeah, two whole, verses. Two verses. And a hook. Wow. And a hook. The whole, he did the whole song. Yeah, we went to LA, LAX, floor out there, boom. Shot the video, came back. We had 5.8 million views right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. That's shit. awesome. Yeah. And I started not let you niggas on my show. I said, damn, I got y'all views, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I seen it? that. I said, wait a minute, nigga. Jabbing? Wait a minute. Yes, Look, nigga, y'all got five. I ain't even know, nigga. And I, yeah, I'm crazy over here with it. Man. But I can't believe y'all. I like the Miss Tyler. You see how niggas just mm -hmm. pushing niggas on me and I'm finally getting and, this blessing? And look, we, we dropped our album and like just is helping out the city and we just want to bring people aware of what we're doing and using our platform. So we just dropped the album in, uh, in January and our album consists of Dallas local artists and mainstream artists that we built relationships with and we collab them. So that's like our thing, what we're doing. We taking artists and we making actual hits mm -hmm. and songs with these local artists, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. that's our movement. That's just how we giving back to the city you're just trying to make it work you know what I'm saying that's big y'all got Juicy J on that dang song yeah. like that Project yeah, Pat so. we got Project Pat too on what? Yeah, yeah we got Project With Pat on it Lil Ronnie Erica Banks Project that's Pat the, all all you know them niggas the only one got an Oscar man yeah y'all yeah. niggas so, special man that's yeah. hey, that Juicy God tell us all the time man. y'all so special just to, bro so God what y'all doing to capitalize off of it man Deters the City that's what we doing DTC it's the first album you know what I'm saying we just really we, we on radio so we can't even really work it as artists so that's, know, yeah, that's, that's the thing we we're on the radio, so it's time to now. We're trying to find that way of being hard. Figure it out. Yeah, y'all better figure it out. Yeah, you better figure it out. Opportunity to miss, miss you, nigga. You better try to. Hey, man, listen, man. You, you did. don't miss our opportunity, nigga. Y'all crazy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Niggas yeah. want nigga. Be, this versus that. Figure it out. Facts, you better go facts. make another beat. Yeah, for real. You know, right. Right. The place is everything. The place man, is everything. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, so man. Thank you, bro. We love thank you, for brothers, man. I think, hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Anytime. Like I said, it, it, this ain't the last time. I'm going to bring y'all on here to tell some more lies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't going to do y'all like that. Y'all sure. niggas like to do, yeah, y'all done lied to me. I'm going to look that song. If it ain't got 5.8 million. 5.8. Five, eight. Five, eight. Eight. Five, eight. 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 I'm going to buy lunch for a week straight. I'm going to a week straight. Say, man, thank you guys, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Run the intro back. Run the intro back. You know yeah. that? <laughs> that was hard, bro. You like that? I love it, bro. <laughs> so you push the song. Boss Talk. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You should hear the whole thing. It's oh, so hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how I go down, man. Y'all get the hell out of here. Let's <laughs> let your boys see you, niggas. <laughs>